Hey guys, still here, back with episode 17. Now last episode I had a really, really effective mission that got me a last bit of supplies. It got me a decent amount of stuff and I can now start to work on expanding my facilities. It's important that the crew knows people out there need us and want us to help turn this thing around. They have to know there's a reason to endure all this. I'm gonna go with a workshop here, because this seems to be the best way to set this whole structure up. Assign the engineer there. Mr. Gorshkov is going to help with the construction. Once this thing is done, I'm going to staff one engineer there, and he's going to be able to staff the building there and over there. Well, I don't have anything here yet, but once this is done, it's going to hopefully get me quite a bit of supplies. I'm not sure how much I'm going to get from that, but we'll see. I'm going to send those guys to work on uh, possibly the alien communication center or the uh, resistance communication center there and then staff both that building and the power relay with the gremlins that the workshop produces. But that's probably one or two episodes away. For now, let's see. We have a supply drop. Let's go get the supply drop. Or I can get goats. I can go and get alien alloys. Right now, Avengers the supplies take priority. I really need to get more income. Alright, supply drop. Mr. Lester has learned squat sight. Very good. Okay, hold on. New staff available. No thanks. Now, I have a decent amount of supplies. Let's see if that's enough to buy one of the items that I wanted to build. The weapons. I can go with either Gauss or Mag Cannons. Now, I have a lot more engineers than I have snipers. So, Mag Cannons is gonna quite literally get me more bang for my buck. So let's get that one. Pickings are slim, but I'm hoping we find a few. Okay, um, since I'm here anyway, I might as well make contact. And I don't have enough intel for that. I need 60 intel, and I have only 22. Okay, instead let's spend the time then scanning this bonfire, and somehow get alien alloys out of it. Machinery cleared. Got me 103 supplies. 15 alloys. Okay, uh, with that, unfortunately, I cannot quite build this. Because, and here it is, I'm missing three supplies. I can get a defense matrix, but I don't really need that. That's only useful once your uh, facility gets attacked. The Scilab might be something that's useful. But it's even more expensive. It's 175 supplies. So for now, just keep scanning. Oh, actually, of course, that's really stupid. I should send those two engineers Commander, to go and excavate a new part of the, the structure. If we're going to slow them down, we'll need to move fast. And it seems like I'm going to have to prioritize making contact with this zone and neutralize the alien facility that's in there as part of the next, let's say, next few Commander, weeks. I appreciate you recruiting new staff for the engineering team, but as it stands, we have... Yeah, we have two people time. not doing we anything. 95 supplies or 108? I'll take this one first. Fayette, Williams, get on that. 15 days to get those supplies. Should have done that a few days ago. There's probably going to be a new mission pop up. Here we go. Targets for guerrilla ops. I can get... Oh! I can get Lieutenant Boris Bladovich. A sharpshooter at Lieutenant rank. Or in New India. I can get Dr. Emma Watson. And this is going to get me the supply drop. Or make sure that I get all the supplies. This is going to cause a UFO hunter to come after me. I can probably defeat that. Um, I've done it once. It's doable. So what I'm going to do is go to New India. It's only a moderate mission, Operation Ice Knife. And this may also allow me to train up some of my less experienced troops. So let's fly over. Get the guys in. Let's see, I'm going to hand pick this entire squad. Um, let's see. Squaddies. 
You got all the firepower you need. You're going to get all the guidance from me. Bad as it may be. Let's see, that's two grenadiers, one specialist, one sharpshooter. My rangers are very, very heavily elited. Um, considering sending a Catalina with them, it's always very, very nice to have a ranger there. Yeah, okay, you're going. Now, make utility items available. My specialist is going to take the heal package, which is the medikit. He's going to take a plasma grenade. Um, my sharpshooter. You're going to take, let's see, the talon rounds, causing greater critical hit damage. Actually, though, that might be a really useful item on the ranger, because they are also quite likely to get critical hits. In that case, you're going to go with dragon rounds. Because I don't have any targeting seeking rounds. Okay, dragon rounds. You, squaddy. Um, I'm going to give you, if at all available, not yet, make armor available. You're going to get the exosuit. Now be very, very careful with that shit, because it is way above your pay grade. Hang on, where's my exosuit? Oh, um, sorry, Gabe is wearing the exosuit. The exosuit is unavailable. What I do have available is the spider suit. I can give that to Isaac Tact Lester. I'm not going to use any weapon attachments because I'm still going to go for Gauls Rifles next. Grenadier, listen up. I need you to fire... Um, actually, first the grenades. I need you the incendiary grenades on that slot. I want you to have your plasma grenade on that slot. This utility item. Mm, dragon rounds, put people on fire. Grenadier, plasma and flash. Stalker. Um, Stalker, you shouldn't really have that grenade. Because these guys can make much, much better use of that. They can fire it way farther than you possibly can. So, in that case, uh, delete that one, delete that one. I want you to have in the grenade slot the plasma grenade. No, not the plasma. Come on, pay attention. The gas grenade. Your utility item is going to be a plasma grenade. You have the other one. Looking good. I can give you a flashbang, though. Okay, so we got explosive, 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 um, incendiary, gas grenade, and a flashbang. I don't think I have a skulljack. And it's gonna take a while to build one, because it's gonna have to come out of my proving grounds, which I don't really have time for. Alright. Uh, whoops, not build items. Let's go. Time to train up some squaddies. In position for, deployment. for, I think, at least two out of three guys. They're actually in the field. The resistance has been relying on an old data tap along the advent network that had, up until this point, been eluding the alien's detection. Recent intel suggests the data the resistance found is critical to the alien's Okay, operation. so we're going to have to defend the device. Advent is already moving to take out the device. And we can't let that happen. Eliminate all hostile contacts and secure the area. Protect that device at all costs. Roger. Hostile all right. forces are already moving to destroy the data tap installed nearby. We need to lock down the area and secure the device at all costs. Okay, we have the advantage of concealment. Unfortunately, there's a statue there. There's the building that I might want to get to, to get some more high ground. First off, keep the squad okay. moving. Start moving towards the objective, because usually people already start out there. Okay, one codex and one muton. I can hit the muton with a 50% accuracy. With a pistol. Here going an overwatch. I think we're going to have to plow through these guys. Before we can really get to where we need to be. 
or I can avoid them. But I have no idea what kind of cover I have here, and it doesn't look like a lot. Been under the eggs. All right, mag cannons. These guys now have their improved weaponry with them. Mag cannons do quite a bit more damage, and that is really what I want them to do. You can hit with 51% accuracy, or 51% chance to hit, I should say. It's not really... Well, I suppose you could call it accuracy. Overwatch. Oh, you're gonna go right into the open. Just like that. You got one advent shield bearer, one trooper, seemingly. Okay, I can get quite close. What are the chances to hit? 75, 65? That's not very good on a sniper, but then again, it's only a squaddy. Rocket launcher. The ideal way, though, would be to flashbang these guys. Because flashbang takes away the abilities. And that worked out rather well last time. I think that my ranger yeah, here my ranger has the flashbang. You're gonna have to walk all the way over there. Okay. Leaving her at pretty great risk. But it's just gonna have to happen like that. Alright, we're gonna do an ambush. Roger that. Big Papa, get ready to fire. Overwatch. Roger, I've got my eyes on. You're gonna go on Overwatch. You don't even have long watch yet, being a squaddy and all. Get ready, Overwatch. Stalker, one minute. Harvey. Overwatch. Here comes the flash. Mind your eyes. Didn't do any damage, and I don't need it to do any damage. What I need it to do is make sure that these guys cannot use their abilities, especially that Codex. Raised him. Didn't hit. Missed. Come on. Sniper? Maybe? Yeah, five damage. That almost took care of her. Three hit points left. Now, what about the other guys? What about that Muton? He is probably going to start firing. I'm just not sure how accurate he's going to be. Ooh, critical hit on you. That did a lot of damage. And you're just gonna stand in the open? Whew. That was close. Gotta say, that Codex either got lucky, or she is still really accurate, despite having been flashbanged. Alright, so Big Papa is gonna have at least a bit of a problem. So you're gonna move up. You're gonna take your plasma grenade launcher, you're gonna fire it right there. Hopefully that won't destroy any li- Codex killed. I didn't say loot killed, so that's good. That's what I wanted to see. Or didn't want to see, rather. I'm gonna use you to heal him up. Oh god, you don't even have medical protocol yet. Oh, that's wonderful. Um, I'm gonna need a rookie to get the kill. Because kills get experience, and experience gets your promotions. Come on! This is a mutant sitting in the open, and you miss? I got nothing. I still have two panic buttons, which is that ranger, and my exosuit wearing, I believe, Gabe there. Harvey. Thank you, Harvey. Good shooting. Ziel ausgeschaltet. Yep. Alright, Stalker. Stalker, you're gonna conceal. Now you see me. You're gonna be the spotter for my sniper. 
Let's do this. So that my sniper probably, by using the grappling hook, can get up on the roof Enemy on the moon. and kill off these three. Okay. As far as Gabriel goes, I can get him on the roof as well. Mm, although this position might be a bit better. I know for sure that that truck is not going to explode on me because I already blew it up. Actually, I'm going to start moving you through the building here to get ready to use the building as cover. Overwatch. I'm probably going to move towards the decoder and start shooting it. Yep. Fortunately for me, that thing has a lot of health. And they don't particularly seem eager to kill it. 51, 49, 37. Use the hook. Get up on the roof. Zippy IA. Okay. Now I have an 89% chance. That's a lot better. 89, 87. I'm not going to be able to kill that shield bearer, but I might be able to kill his allies, which in effect still neutralizes the shield bearer. Oh yes. Good shot, Lester. Enemy down. That's going to wake these guys up. But so long as I can give them something else to shoot at, meaning me, instead of the decoder, I'm perfectly happy. Move up. Any shots? No. Okay. Overwatch. Gabe. I'm a bit hesitant about putting these guys together because they might get a grenade on them. So instead, I'm going to put you here where you cannot be shot at. But the next move you're going to make, you can start shooting. Stalker, stay there and don't do anything. Big Papa, I'm going to keep you back because I don't want to lose a squaddy. And you got the incendiary grenade. Concealed overwatch. Okay. There's the overwatch. Not entirely hit him. Second overwatch. That's Big Papa. Didn't hit him either. Welcome to World of Squaddies, where no one is able to hit anything. And he might start and shoot my guys. I'm very, very fortunate he didn't actually go for my sniper. Here comes the shield. Nothing I wasn't expecting. Shield is a, pretty much a minor annoyance, because right now I can just fire a grenade at it. Alright. RV, move up. Hold your fire. What's your chances to hit? 74 and 30. I'm a bit worried that I might, I will be able to hit the officer. I'm gonna do, oh, I stand corrected. I won't be able to hit anything. Because my weapon's out of ammo. Isn't that lovely? Now the sniper is the class that cannot reload his ammo, uh, or reload his weapon as the first action, and then fire. But what I can do is fire my pistol like this. Hmm, only 52, okay, reload. Maybe I shouldn't pull him off the roof, but so be it. I can hack this thing. It may not have anything to do with the current objective of killing these two guys, but hacking these objectives can give you all sorts of interesting bonuses if your hacking skill is high enough. There's a 52% chance of reinforcements. Um, or actually depends on what I get. If I go for a hypnography, which reduces enemy will by 50%, um, which is not really useful for me. Or I can go for a facility lead. No, I'm not going to hack. It's too risky. I do not want to trigger a group of reinforcements. No thanks. Back you go. Alright, we're going to just blow up this bus stop and half the officer. Or at least the shields then. Three damage, two damage, shields dead. 
gape. Move up a bit. Because you now have... You, what? How don't you have a shot? I mean... Your grenade launcher has a shot. Or your rocket launcher. How don't you have a shot with your gun? Okay, we're just gonna overwatch then. You, though, have a decent amount of chance to hit him. Yep, that's it. Big Papa strikes again. Enemy's down. I need ammo. He's out of ammo. Stalker. There might be more enemies around, so I'm gonna keep Stalker concealed. Keep her as my passive spotter. There comes the Overwatch from Gabe. Didn't hit him. Because just imagine that. And you're going for a different priority, which is the decoder. I always call it the decoder, by the way, because that's the way that the things were called back in uh, Enemy Unknown. Alright, I need you to strip the shield and possibly the armor off of this guy. So that my rookie or my squaddy can get the kill. There, his armor shredded, his shield's gone, and he took three damage. Now, you're basically just a three hit point target. To move you here, which is high cover. There, 67%. And you miss? Really? God. Okay, we're just gonna try and get a pistol shot out of Isaac. Isaac, 56%. Please tell I me mean, you can do with a handgun that I can do. No? No, okay. Don't worry. I shouldn't have asked. Jones is out of ammo. And I really would rather have this guy dead than have him continue to operate here. So, that leaves me with either the choice to fire a incendiary grenade at him, or to send over Catalina and just use a shotgun and shoot him in the head. Because that's what she does best. Catalina. There. Not a job done properly. You ask a veteran. That's right. I found something. And he even dropped some stuff. Johns. I need you to get close here to the medic so he can heal you up next turn. Arvenator, use that med kit, heal Jones. Four hit points recovered. And you're gonna reload. Gabe, you're gonna reload. And then Overwatch. There. Stalker. Hmm. You're also going to have to go on Overwatch. Because right now I only have two of my guys that ready. Okay. Then my sniper's going to have to go out and get the stuff. Hopefully there's a Larry... Uh oh. Oh, that's the objective. Yes, sir. Hopefully this is an Illyrium core. No. Okay. Well, so be it. Stalker, Overwatch. Now. The good news is that they are... Oh. Never mind, there's no good news. I was going to say the good news is that they're going to have to come to me. Which seems to be exactly what they are going to do. But not exactly on my timetable. Okay, let's see what we can do about these guys. I have Harvey here. How can I best use you? Maybe it's time to use either an aid protocol to boost or someone's defenses, or to just use your weapon. These, by the way, are a very nice target, but I'm worried about that codex. A codex is 
usually my first target because they are so incredibly deadly. These guys are very close together. Not a good thing. My sniper is very far away. I'm gonna have to get you up here where you're not likely to get shot at. Not right away anyway. Chances to hit 47. That is current status although. Um, Harvey, listen up. I need you to blow up this wall and do a bit of damage to that codex. Because with that, I can give my sniper a way better shot and possibly a critical hit. That's a bit of damage on her. Four damage. And she's exposed. And she's gonna clone. Clone goes all the way over there. That's a very high hit point clone. Sniper. 87%. Now we're talking. Okay, this guy though, I can kill. That one? Maybe. Go for the certainty. Or the rel relative certainty. I mean, it's a squatty. Yep. Good shot. Okay, that's one down. It's down. Or down. Whichever you prefer. Um. How about Harvey? Harvey, can you kill the clone? That would be really, really useful. Did you get him? Three. God, it has one hit point left. That does not make it any less dangerous. Is that a clone or is that a, a sort of transport? Um, I think it moved. I think it didn't actually copy itself. John, so you are not in a very good position here. You're rather exposed. Catalina, can you make this position? No. Okay, you're just gonna kill the clone. <laughs> or at least... Yep, that's it. That's it. Good girl. Absolutely. Johns. Listen up, John. Need you to fire an incendiary. And put both these guys on fire. The one thing I'm worried about is a return grenade from these guys. Look at that. Shred at the armor. Three damage. Put them on fire. These guys have all sorts of stuff to worry about now. Burning. One point... L or two hit points left. He took three burn damage. Wow. He's probably going to go slightly into cover and employ the shields. Yep. There's the shield. And here comes the trooper. Who's going to shoot my device? Okay, this is good because now I can get pretty much determine how I'm going to fire and who I'm going to use. I want to train up my rookies. Or squaddies, but really I consider them rookies. Try and take care of the Heavy Lancer. That's the Heavy Lancer down. My sniper might be able to get a shot. If not, I got plenty of alternatives. Get ready. Fire, hit. Three shielded, or three damage. Hmm. He's back to two hit points. Jones. Unfortunately, there's not really any good kind of cover for him. He already took a hit. Go here. 38%. Well, just take the 38. Didn't hit him. I think it blew a hole in the wall behind him, though. Stalker. You can reach him with a slash if you absolutely have to. Hmm. Hmm. 
escape. Get ready to help out. Just overwatch. How much hit points do that device have? Oh, he's not going to kill the device in one turn. Overwatch. One hit point left. What are you going to do? He's no longer burning. Overwatch. Yep. Well, that was to be expected, I suppose. That was to be expected. Only the best. Status confirmed. Clear. Are down and the area is secure. Status confirmed. Mission accomplished. Very nice. Only one wounded soldier. Hundred. I'm oh sorry. Seventy percent successful shot percentage. Four percent. Two promotions. My specialist is promoted. Medical protocol, absolutely. And my grenadier is gravely wounded. You're gonna go shredder. Okay. Alright. Successful mission. Some corpses here and there. And I got a scientist, which is very nice, because any kind of boost in my research is welcome. Excellent work. 17%. Alright, well that concludes this episode. Very successful mission. Um, it was only moderately difficult, and you can see that I got a lot less resistance than I did normally. Hope you enjoyed. I definitely, again, liked playing XCOM. I really, really sink a lot of hours into this game, and if you haven't bought it yet, I can really recommend it, if you like this kind of tactical strategy. With that, thank you for watching, and I'll see you next episode.